Hello everyone, so today I went to this store and got this Orion, or Orion, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to go to the back because this plug is, this is going to fall. But I know the model number off the top of my head. It's a VR-0400 VCR. Made by, yeah, like I said, made by Orion. And this VCR does not work too well to be on to sadly and not to tell you why in a minute so here's the oh I forgot to show you the front forehead monophonic main controls okay, digital auto tracking the accept recorder VHS HQ, also known as high quality um, video index search system. Yeah, right. So this is what I'm talking about. Automatic function, quick start, full loading system. Well, it does do all that, and it's a um, two-speed picture search, on-screen programming, and so and something I don't use anymore, which is cable compatible. I don't use anything that has to do with cable with the VCRs anymore. No no cable box will support that anymore. So this is this is this is or this is Orion's V so the <laughs> So this is a pretty fairly built unit, it's pretty nicely built. So on this one there is a special feature but on the newer ones with this mechanism it's not there, so I can actually take off the bottom side cover of this VCR and replace the belts if I have to. And, but on the newer ones, with some models, like, take a look at the Emerson VCR 3000, and it will not, you will not be able to remove the bottom cover to access the belt. You have to take apart the whole entire, cha entire chassis, which you'll risk breaking that VCR. No buts about it. So that sucks. But this one I can. I'll show you the bomb later. So this is a pretty fairly complicated um loading assembly. So So here's the loading assembly. Hold on, let me get my light in here. Oh let me get my light. Okay. Okay, so loading motor with this belt drives this pulley belt. Actually, we'll just say this is for this is a belt for just for ejecting the tape. So if I take a, off this belt when the when the tape is in, it will work normally. But if I do not, if it's not on, it won't eject. So that's why that's there, and you can see the whole ejecting mechanism over here. But this is the pulley. This is the most important pulley, and this one. This is the one right there. That is really important because look, it, it it connects to it actually connects to a one gear way down there, and drives two cam gears. That's right, the double cam system. I'll show you that in the visible. So that's a really good thing. So pretty up here, besides this loading assembly, it's pretty basic, just like a basic VCR. But there, I have been experiencing problems with this ever since I got this. So, I'm going to show you why. Turn it on. Go turn it on. Oh. Turn it on. Put the tape in. Let me eject and see what... I'll show you what happens. It doesn't, most of the time, it doesn't fully eject. And it's not even a belt issue. And it's not even broken gear either. All the gears are in good condition. Why the hell is it doing that? Oh, to people who know how to repair VCRs, tell me, tell me in the comments, why is it doing all this? But 
it's ain't it's not done yet. That's not it. So it's not the end. So I, I can just put it back in. I mean, it will still work correctly, but I'm gonna have it play. Now, forward picture search works, but when I try to put a reverse, it turns off. Wow. Why the hell is it doing all this? It, it's unable to eject fully, and it can't, and it's unable to, um, reverse search! What is wrong with this? I'm getting frustrated at this VCR right now, but... Again, please leave a comment if you know why it's doing all this. So, okay, so right now, I'm going to eject and show the bomb side. But, do you think, do you think I'm stupid, VC? I can still push the tape out like so. There we go. And I'll show you proof that the gears are fine. Look can turn this it's still able to it would still be able to eject fine it it did fully eject before a few times but now it doesn't want to I don't know why it's doing all this so now let's take a look at the bottom side just really cool see if I can stand it up for you oh. all right here it is. Here's the bomb side of this Orion VCR, Orion, whatever you like to call it. Whatever. Okay, so we placed a belt. And I think I this is the actually this is the other belt. Here's the other belt here. It's still in fairly good condition. Well, let me check. See if it is. Yeah, it's still in fairly good condition, but it was wobbling a little bit and that kinda gets on my nerves. But I replaced it with a different, better belt, and it's tight enough to turn the caps then, as you can see. It's not wobbling at all. Not wobbling at all. And here are the double cam gears. One there. Let me, take, let me just lower the light a little bit so you can see. One there. Ah, sorry, it's just my lamp. And another one there. The main cam's over here. And the mode switch is over here, which is way un... I, yeah, I can see the mode switch. I don't know why it's doing all of this. I'm, maybe... Can you tell me the, can you tell me in the comments, is, is the mode switch why it, it's keep... Um, doing all sorts of switch strange things, like won't let me rewind and all that? Is there like bad capacitors, which I do not know how to replace. I'm not, electri I'm not an electrician, so I do not know all about all of this, but... Please tell me in the comments why... Is it doing all this? So, that's all for now. Here, are the tape guide, m m tape guide gears. Slide that down. Slide that down. Oh, I accidentally touched grease. And um, it's kind of complicated to say, but um, I'm just gonna show you. There's two worm gears that control both cam gears. So. Here's a solenoid, which stops, which helps the VCR go into stop mode when it's rewinding. I mean, regular rewind and fast forward works. I mean, I don't know why reverse search doesn't want to work. So, I'm going to put the tape in, put the tape back in, and show you the bomb side in action. Oh yeah, I forgot that the power is on because I just decided to be a jerk. See, it didn't fully eject. But I don't care about that right now. Let's go a little bit closer now to this one.
All right. Here's the bottom side of the head drum, which normally spins. Well, doesn't normally spin if it's um because the head drum motor is not there. It's on the top. See, look, it's not spinning. I can't do anything like turn it or whatever. So now, now there's the other pulley with the belt. Now let's put this back up. So right under this little silver circuit board, the the head drum motor is underneath there. So yeah. So now I'm going to hook this up to the TV and show you the video quality on this. Alright, here's the last shout out to the Drawing Bros 1, just for this week. And, um, this time, next time I'll be using a different tape instead of the Great Pokemon Adventure for the next review. Don't worry, Jordan. I'll still use it for other reviews in the future. I promise ya. So anyway, let's, let's just get on with this one. And it doesn't have an on-screen display. Now we'll just press play. I mean, it can still play fine. Take us a little second. And the picture is pretty good. Kabam! Damn! Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh. Sorry about the static noise. Some VCRs do that when a, um, when... When there's no, like, when I press stop, sometimes. So, when I power it off... The tape unloads. But at least, it, it doesn't eat the tape. So, that is it for this video. Please like, be kind, rewind, comment, subscribe, be kind, rewind, get da 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 you know all that. So, <laughs> I'm just being funny. So, that's it for this video. And, so, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll just say this one more time. Be kind. And rewind.